teacher shows photo of her fiancé and then school fires her, but now it's payback time. When the teacher of the year suddenly disappeared from school, parents demanded to know what happened to the beloved teacher. Speculations have been surrounding this case, but school district officials kept it a secret. How did this happen, wondered over 40 parents and students that gathered to support their favorite teacher. Signs all over the hallway read I stand with Miss Bailey, and in the end, people finally got their answers. Being a teacher is not just a job, it's a vocation, and you have to love what you're doing to actually be an incredible teacher. This was the case of Stacy Bailey, who taught art at the Charlotte Anderson Elementary School in Arlington, Texas. The school began, but no more than a week after that, Miss Bailey hadn't stepped in her classroom. It was now over seven months since parents learned that the art teacher was missing. I don't know what's going on, but I do know what's being missed at Charlotte Anderson, Lester Williams told MISD trustees. Although Williams' kids have moved from that school, they had been Miss Bailey's students a few years earlier. Now, Williams learned about the teacher's mysterious disappearance from the school, and he said I was shocked, adding that, if she did do something that warranted this, I would be shocked. And if she didn't and this was a reaction on somebody's part, I would be shocked as well. The art teacher has been teaching at that school for nine years, and she even got the title teacher of the year not once, but twice. When contacted by the press, Bailey stated that legally I can't tell you any details. But as weeks passed, rumors started to spread and people learned the truth about her. She is the most loved teacher, said Trisha Savage, a Mansfield ISD parent. Other teachers will tell you that she's one of the best teachers. She handles all of the children that are difficult. She teaches art history to elementary school kids, and they are more knowledgeable than a lot of adults. So what went wrong? I'm an active PTA mom, and I've lived and breathed Charlotte Anderson for the past 10 years, and this wonderful person has been taken away from us. My daughter knows art like if she was 25 years old. She speaks to others like no other with the art that she's learned. My heart is broken, said Florence Alizar Bruner, who explained just how much Miss Bailey's mysterious break from teaching has affected everyone at the school. All they heard were rumors. Trisha addressed the school board and told them that rumors have been spreading, and we want you to know this is now having an impact on the reputation of this district. Parents recently learned that their favorite teacher was placed on administrative leave. What happened? Bruner asked the school for an answer to put an end to all the speculation and pure rumors. Soon enough, it all went public. The teacher of the year has made headlines all around the world, and her payback is so sweet. Here is what led to her suspension and how she turned it all into her favor. Stacy Bailey started her first week of school in August, and since she had to introduce herself to her fourth graders, she decided to create a slideshow with photos of herself. As Bailey chose photos of her as a kid, photos of her with parents, friends, and family, she never thought a simple photo could get her fired. When a parent learned about that slideshow, he decided to call the school and complain. Apparently, Miss Bailey's photo of her and her fiancé was inappropriate. We all know that some people share a bit too much information when it comes to revealing things about their private life, but Miss Bailey wasn't that kind of person. The art teacher thought that sharing some photos of her would make children feel more relaxed around her. But what was so outrageous about that photo? Miss Bailey chose an image of her and her fiancé dressed in funny Halloween costumes. Months later, Miss Bailey and her fiancé stood in front of the court and delivering speeches in front of the press. Meanwhile, the Mansfield ISD school board had to find a solution, or else the mob of enraged parents would make sure they would regret their poor decisions of handling the situation. Let's see the photo that started the scandals. This photo was of Miss Bailey and her fiancé. She told the fourth graders that this was her with her fiancé, dressed as Dory and Nemo from the movie Finding Nemo. So what was wrong with this photograph? While the kids didn't see anything wrong with it, a parent soon called the school and made a complaint. You see, Miss Bailey's controversial photo was of her with her partner Julie Vasquez. Kids asked whether she can marry a woman or not, and the art teacher said she could. When one parent heard what the art teacher declared, he furiously called the school and called for a solution. Unfortunately, the school handled the issue so poorly, they ended up regretting it. The controversial photo led to over two years of court hearings, statements and a huge scandal the school had never dreamt of ever being part of. Months after being on administrative leave, Ms. Bailey sued the district because it didn't let her return to the school. Instead, they reassigned her to a high school. Ms. Bailey said that it was not only hurtful, it was unacceptable, and complained that it wasn't right that gay teachers are not allowed at the elementary level. So, Ms. Bailey, Ms. Vasquez and their lawyer announced the lawsuit. Ms. Bailey had to stay silent, as the district told her that they could fire her if she commented on the case. Even though she silently stood at the news conference, she had the strength to carry on. That isolation and silencing was one of the hardest things I had to overcome she said. Then, nearly two years later, she finally won, and it was all worth it. 
apparently, Ms. Bailey's photo and comment that day in class was crossing the guidelines, said the district in May 2018. Teachers shall not use the classroom to transmit personal belief regarding political or sectarian issues. They also denied discriminating her, saying that the guidelines required controversial subjects be taught in an impartial and objective manner. Mansfield ISD's decision of placing Ms. Bailey on administrative leave for eight months and then denying her the right to continue teaching at the same school was in violation with her rights. The judge ruled that these actions were against the 14th Amendment right to equal protection under the law, explained her lawyer. The judge's ruling is clear. That gay teachers are protected by the Constitution. So how did the art teacher get her payback? Bailey explained that she thought at one moment to accept the situation and move to the high school. However, it wasn't right to stay silent. She had to stand up not only for herself, but for others as well. That's one of the biggest reasons that I did stand up, because I thought if I would have stayed silent or I would have resigned, that this would have just happened to someone else after me. I think it's important for teachers like me to be able to be themselves in their workplaces without fear, said Ms. Bailey, particularly teachers in rural or suburban districts. She added that feeling safe in your workplace should not be dependent on where you live. Here's the settlement she agreed to have. The school board reached a settlement and Ms. Bailey didn't just get paid back for her month she couldn't teach, but she won a lot more. The settlement document said that the administrators, staff, teachers and whoever wanted to attend, there would be LGBTQ training. The human resources and counseling staff members would also attend mandatory LGBTQ training. And there's more. The settlement they reached also meant the school had to pay Ms. Bailey $100,000 for their discrimination. She also had something to say about her story. If a district is thinking about bullying or shaming a gay teacher out of their job, I hope they remember my name, said the art teacher. And I hope they think twice. And now, she's back at the school. Stacy has encouraged other teachers to live their truth and openly be who they are in the classroom so they can be better people and better teachers, Smith said. Bailey and her wife, Julie Vasquez, got married in March 2018. They also decided to donate $10,000 of the settlement money to an organization that focuses on LGBTQ issues. Here's how the first day at school went after the settlement. Bailey recalled in an interview with BuzzFeed News her first day at school after her suspension. The past months, she had been all over the news. But all those emotions soon disappeared when around 15 LGBTQ teens stepped into her classroom with candy and baskets, introducing themselves and welcoming her. Her high school students, including the art teacher, cried, and they all watched the same introductory slantation and the controversial photo. I don't think they'd ever seen a teacher out loud say they were gay. To see a grown-up who was successful and educated and not afraid. I don't think they had ever seen that before, Bailey said. I've seen my classroom turn into a safe space for all kinds of kids who feel marginalized, she said. Ms. Bailey explained that there have always been gay educators and that some of your best teachers may have been gay but too afraid to tell you. Over the past years when she had to fight for her rights, Bailey said that she has been extremely stressed and anxious. Nonetheless, she said that she will continue to work as a high school teacher with MISD and expect to see the district change. Even though you're made to feel small and made to feel less than, you can stand up in your own power and you can also make a change, said the art teacher. Ms. Bailey challenged others to change the conservative districts. I challenge you to change the one you're in, she said. It may not be easy. You may get pushed back. And if what happened to me happens to you, I want you to know you can survive it, said Bailey. You do not have to give up your passion or profession, she concluded. It was a hell of a rollercoaster for this art teacher, but she finally got her payback and inspired not just other teachers, but also parents and teens.